Hey guys, so for the next few videos we're going to be talking about uh, computing limits algebraically and in this video here, uh, first we're going to do direct substitution. Uh, we'll do five examples of that. So direct substitution is pretty much the simplest method that you can use to evaluate limits, uh, but it won't always work. And if it doesn't work, uh, there's other things you'll need to try and we'll talk about those in some of the later videos. But it is always the first thing that you should try because it is the simplest. So for now, let's go ahead and do five examples of these. We'll start with this one here. Uh, let's take the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 6x plus 1. Now, as the name implies direct substitution, we're just going to take this value 2 and directly substitute it into this expression here, into this function. So anywhere we see an x, we're just going to replace it with a 2. So this is going to be equal to uh, 2 squared minus 6 times 2 plus 1. Okay, so 2 squared is 4 minus 6 times 2 is minus 12, and then plus 1. And when we simplify that, we have 4 minus 12 is negative 8, plus 1 is negative 7. And that's our answer for example 1. Alright, let's go ahead and look at example 2 here. Uh, now we're going to take the limit as s approaches negative 3 of 2 plus s divided by s squared plus 1. So these parentheses here, they're not really necessary, but they do help make this a little bit easier to read. So it's not a bad idea to have those. Okay, so again, direct substitution. So we're just going to take negative 3 and directly substitute it into this expression anywhere we see an s. So what we're going to have is 2 plus negative 3 divided by negative 3 squared plus 1. All right, and then when we simplify that, 2 plus negative 3 is really 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. And on the bottom, we have negative 3 squared is 9, plus 1 is 10. So this is negative 1 tenth. We don't really need to rewrite it like this, but it's more uh, common to have the minus sign off of the numerator. But it doesn't really matter. All right, so that's example 2. So example 3, come up here. Uh, let's take the limit as z approaches 3 from the right of z cubed minus 1, uh, divided by 5 minus z. And so here we're taking a one-sided limit, but uh, when we do direct substitution, if we're computing algebraically, uh, it doesn't actually matter. The process is going to be the same. So uh, it is a one-sided limit, but it's just going to be the same kind of process. We're going to take the 3 and just substitute it into here. Anywhere we see a z, we're going to replace it with the 3. So this is going to be equal to uh, 3 cubed minus 1 divided by 5 minus 3. Okay, so 3 cubed, that's 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So this is 27 minus 1 divided by 5 minus 3 is 2. So this is 27 minus 1 over 2. 27 minus 1 is 26. 26 divided by 2 is 13. And that's our answer for example 3. All right. Let's go ahead and get rid of example 1 here, and we'll do uh, examples 4 and 5. So example 4, let's do some trig now. We haven't done a whole lot of that yet. Uh, example 4, let's take the limit, example 4, uh, limit as theta approaches pi over 2 of sine of theta plus 2 theta. All right, and these parentheses we do need here, because we're taking the limit as theta approaches pi over 2 of this whole thing here. So we got to have the parentheses around here, because we have the addition here. All right, so again, direct substitution. So we're just going to take um, all of our thetas in here and replace them with pi over 2. So we're just going to directly substitute pi over 2 into all this. The fact that it's trig now doesn't matter at all. Um, still just direct substitution. So this is going to equal sine of pi over 2 plus 2 times pi over 2. All right? And if we uh, recall the unit circle here, sine of pi over 2 is 1, and 2 times pi over 2, uh, 2 is cancel, and we just have plus pi left. So that's our answer here. All right? That's example 4. And uh, our last example, example 5, come down here for that. 
let's take the limits as x approaches pi of cosine of 3x over 2 plus x squared. Right? And then uh, we need these square brackets around all of this because we have the addition in here and we're taking the limit of this entire expression. Okay, so again, direct substitution, so nothing too uh, crazy happening here. We're just going to take uh, pi and then directly substitute that into this expression anywhere we see an x. So what we're going to have is uh, equals cosine of 3 pi over 2 plus pi squared. Right? And again, if we think about the unit circle, uh, cosine of 3 pi over 2, that's just 0. right? So what we have is 0 plus pi squared, or in other words, just pi squared. And that's the answer for example 5.